Hello YouTube, this is Scientific here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk more about class variables in Python. Now, in Python, I wiped out the code from the last tutorial on the introduction to classes, because the Doge example wasn't very good. And uh, I just wanted to make a new class, to recap on how to do it, and I'm going to talk more about the self keyword, how it's useful, etc. So, class, person, the object, remember to always subclass object. I'll talk about subclassing soon. Just know to always put object in those parentheses. You don't need spaces, I just prefer to do them. And we'll say uh, self dot uh, name equals Eamon. Uh, self dot actually, let's say Eamon re self dot age equals 14. Self birthday. Sorry if you can hear my fans, I'm exporting a video currently because that's the last, or yes, it will be the last Python tutorial, episode 11. The birthday equals uh, 17th of the first 2000. Self dot. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know if we build in on this. Name self is not defined. We need to put this in a method that, wow my fans are going crazy in it, self and we can indent this, I'll talk about self in a second or in, uh, in it, you should know why we have to put self in there because that, that's why we can use self here, we can use self here because it's passed in as an argument to all our methods and you know uh, self is the uh, our self, that's referencing our self, our person class, our self references the class. Then here we say Eamon equals person. And we get no errors. If we print Eamon dot name is Eamon Ray. Print and that age print in that birthday human ray 14 17 to the first 2000 and let's talk about in it now what is in it in it is a very specific method in Python every class has the init method and the init method is not used as a constructor if you've done Python just know that in it is not a constructor in it is not the function constructor. I can't stress that enough. It's not a constructor. It's a place used to define class variables. We use this to define things like variables. We don't use this as a constructor. A lot of people make that mistake. It's not a constructor. It's what you use to define stuff like the self.name, self.age, self.birthday. Like with a player class, you would have the init method and you would put his initial XP in there. You would put his initial age, you would put his birthday. You would do stuff like that. Don't treat it as a constructor. You would you would make a constructor method and probably call it in the init method. But it's called to initialize things. Init stands for initialize. And the reason it has underscores is because anything with like underscores like this, underscore, underscore at the start and underscore, underscore at the end is uh, a function that is created by Python or that is known as a built-in, I believe. Underscore, underscore, built-in, underscore, underscore. These are what is known as built-ins. And these are built into Python. These are built-in methods. But just know that. Did I get a notification? Uh, Twitter, 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 what was this? Donna Rosen. What did he say? This is really unprofessional, but I don't care. Yep, just favoriting some tweets. Thank you, Donna Rosen. Not that you're watching this video because I don't think you would watch Python tutorials, but if you are, thank you. <laughs> um. Anyway, yes. So in it is a built-in for Python, and it's used to initialize things in your class. It's used to initialize everything. Yeah. Actually, don't put a constructor method in here. You would call a constructor from here. Python just doesn't have a constructor. Just know that. Yeah. So, 
Whenever we say self, we're basically defining variables for this class. So when we say self.name, the person's name is Eamon Ray. So the class's name, or the class's name variable is Eamon Ray. And we use a dot because, like I said in the last tutorial, to make values for a class, we put the name value in here. So yeah, uh, that's all for this tutorial. Hopefully you understand that self.name basically makes na uh, variable names for uh, a class. So self.name means, right, we're making a name variable for ourselves, for our class. And we're making a variable called name, giving the value Eamon Ray, same with age and birthday. And then we're making an object down here, print Eamon.name is Eamon Ray, because that's what we define up here. So uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, leave a comment and I will try to help you out. Tell me what you don't understand and I will try to help you. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.